want to get up. <laughs> It's 5.30 in the morning, we're headed home. I feel like a zombie right now. Story just woke up. She's happy, of course. Belle and I are like, oh, this is torture. We have a long, long travel day home. Good morning, Story Girl. You good back there? Let me see here. Hi, my little angel. Turn on the lights. I'm dead. We're both so dead. We gotta go to the airport in like 30 minutes. We haven't even packed up. We're gonna bring you guys along though. Show you our travel day. Mom's dead, story out of it. She is the sweetest girl in the morning. Are you ready to go back home and see Binksy boy? I think the reason that story woke up so happy <laughs> is because she's wearing her Dreamland swaddle. We want to talk about some of our top travel hacks today. And I think the top one for us with traveling with a baby is the Dreamland baby sleep sack. It's been a game changer for us, especially when traveling because we're in different time zones and different things. <laughs> oh my goodness. She... <laughs> It's just part of her routine, and so we feel like it's one of the things that just like keeps her routine going when we travel and are on the go. One thing about Story is when she likes to sleep, she likes to be held tight, yeah. very tight. She's like, you guys are talking about me? <laughs> the best part about when we transition her from us down to her bed is that the Dreamland is weighted, and so she still... <laughs> She still feels that that the tightness comfort. and the secureness and the comfort. It's actually kind of crazy because this Dreamland sack here, is Mom. part of her <laughs> part of her routine. The second we put the Dreamland on, she just knows and she starts to get tired. Like her eyes start to get tired. You can get 20% off their entire site wide plus free shipping if you use the yes. code Lambert. <laughs> so make sure you're, it's right here on the screen. Make sure you use this code. This they have line. a bunch of different types. Um, it depends on where we're traveling. This is like the long armed one. This one, it's a lot colder here in New York, so I brought this one. But there's also like the when she was a, when she was a new baby, she had like the swaddle one yeah. where you could have it like with two arms in, one arm in, two arms out. There's yeah. different ways to do it. And then there's when she's a, a little older, she's gonna do the um, it's like a sleep sack. So they have a bunch of different options. Go check them out. It's been a game changer for Story. <laughs> Why is she always so happy when she wakes up? This is just Story, she's always happy. But we're gonna pack up really quick, and then along the day, like one of the biggest questions we get is, how is it traveling with a baby? We wanna show you the real, the raw, the ugly, how it is traveling with a baby. It actually is amazing, we love it so much. Okay, I'm gonna pack Story's bag. This is the bag that we take with us on the plane. This is like the most important bag that makes it on the plane. So there's quite a few things that I will pack into her bag. The most important one, as you could probably guess, are diapers and wipes. No, it's the flamingo. Mingo? Mingo the flamingo? Mingo the flamingo. Pack him up. So we put her diapers and wipes in there. And then, where's Lily? Oh no, where is Lily? Oh, Lily's in here. This is her Lily doll. She loves Lily and her Mingo. These are the two toys of choice for this trip. We pretty much always bring Lily, but every once in a while we'll switch out like her little... Giraffe. We have Giraffe, we have Mingo. We have all the toys. She loves Lily. Wait, look, she, she gets so happy. It's Lily. <laughs> she loves her Lily. Here, you can play with Lily for a minute. <laughs> and then some of the other things that I'll pack is this Frida nose sucker. It's really gross, but if you're a parent, you know this is the holy grail. And I bring this just in case on every trip because you don't want her to have a clogged nose. And then I pack a bunch of snacks. She's really into oranges right now and yogis. And I have a couple of these pouches. So I'm just gonna pack those in here because you can never have enough snacks as a parent. I'll also pack her formula. So when we go up in the plane, I always give her a bottle and also when we are coming back down because it helps with her ears. So I have her formula in here and her bottle I'll put in there. I think one of the biggest travel hacks for us has been we don't really bring a lot to the trip. Like this bag won't be as full on the way here because when we get here, we'll buy all the things that we need. So we don't travel with as much. Okay. Oh, more yogis. Oh, and like some little mangoes, more pouches. The chomps are for me. Most of the time I have, so on the plane, I will bring this for the diaper changes. 
Diaper changing mat. The diaper changing mat. The planes can be disgusting, and when you go in there, you don't want to just like lay her straight on the table. We bring her blankie, and last but not least, her sippy cup. She drinks a lot of water these days, so sippy cup goes in there. All right, so we have approximately 20 minutes to pack up this whole room right now. We woke up kind of late. Disaster in here. It's a disaster in this room, and so. Are you happy this morning? Whoa! You took a tumble. One thing about Bella and I is we only pack carry-ons. No matter where we're going. Like no matter where we're going, yeah. We don't ever check bags. Five-day trip. Five-day trips, packed in carry-ons. We do two carry-ons, one for me, one for Bella. Bella puts all the story stuff in hers. One time I went to Bali, Indonesia. I was there for almost three weeks. One carry-on the whole time. It's just way easier. You don't have to wait for check bags. You don't have no to deal with. You don't have to yeah deal with bags getting lost. We try and be very minimal. Try and be very simple in the process. Just as easy as life can be for us when traveling. And we, we try and make it. Clothes. I'm gonna look in the camera and tell you right now. I am hands down the world's best packer. I guarantee you, I can pack your whole check bag in your carry-on. Smash them in there so you can fit the most. Ugh. Help me do it. Are you helping me? Yeah. Did you brush your teeth this morning, Story? Come a little bit more over here, right there. Come on, help me, help me. Get the clothes down. Help me get the clothes down. I love you so much. Look how big Story is. You're such a big girl. This is some secret stuff right here. All right, I'm making her a bottle for the car ride. I can just tell she's hungry. I just made Story a bottle for the car ride and we're out. Made it to the airport. <laughs> Why? I'm so tired. This girl is a trooper. She's actually become such a good little traveler. And also, this stroller, by the way, has been squeaking like nonstop. It's driving me nuts. This whole trip has just been like, wait, listen, listen, listen. All right, I just went on a mission. I always go and I get all the things for her for on the flight. So I got her a little yogurt pouch, some olives. I don't, this is so random. I found olives. She loves olives. Got myself a yogurt and then I always find a room temperature water so we can make her bottles and it's not cold. I have blueberry on my knee from when she wiped her mouth there and now she just wiped her yogurt face. And I forgot my headphones. So I'm trying to get a hold of the hotel to send them to me. That was the MVP. <laughs> All the bad about the girl with me. We made it on the flight. So far, everything's been really good. Don just said I think he thinks it's a six hour flight home. I'm hoping it's only five, maybe five and a half. It's I a six hour flight. No, I think it's five. Maybe three. <laughs> maybe three? <laughs> if you just tell yourself that, then it goes by quicker. And I forgot my freaking headphones in the hotel so I don't have headphones. You wanna to talk to me the whole flight? Nope, I'm putting my, I didn't forget my headphones. My headphones are going on. I'm going to sleep. Rude. Story woke up. We almost made it to the end of the flight without an outfit change, but she spilled puree and water all down her shirt. So we did an outfit change. We have like about an hour left and then we're home. Okay, I want to talk about one of my other favorite tips. When we're flying, especially with a baby, flight attendants are very helpful. They normally will let you stand in the front or the back of the plane and rock the baby to sleep. And that's what we pretty much do all the time. We rock her to sleep in the front of the back of the plane. Is there something you want to say? I just realized Bella never picks up the camera. So there's never any video of me holding story. But I hold story on the plane and I get her to sleep. And here we are. Flight is over, we made it. She's ready to get off just like me. I'm so ready to get off. All right, we're off the plane. We got the car seat. I always get nervous that the car seat isn't gonna come, but they do a pretty good job of making sure we get the car seat pretty quickly. I'm always so terrified, like Bella said, that the car seat doesn't come because then there's no way to get story home. And that'd just be really awkward. But, cross our fingers, this never happened. 
So we made it to Phoenix. The flight was pretty easy. We're headed home.